CDL Practice Test, Illinois, General Knowledge, Part 6. Question number 127. Which of the following may put a vehicle out of service? A. Spring hangers that do not allow movement of the axle from the proper position. B. Leaves in a multi-leaf spring that do not shift. C. Spring leaves with more than one stroke for missing or broken. The correct answer is here. C. Spring leaves with more than one stroke for missing or broken. Explanation. Although all of these issues need to be addressed, none of these findings would warrant taking the vehicle out of service. Though any amount of missing or damaged spring leaves could be dangerous, if one stroke four or more are missing or broken, the vehicle should be taken out of service. Leaves in a multi-leaf spring should not shift, and spring hangers should not allow movement of the axle from the proper position. Question number 128. Which of the following provide extra gears on some trucks? A. Auxiliary transmissions. B. Multi-speed rear axles. C. Both auxiliary transmissions and multi-speed rear axles. The correct answer is here. C. Both auxiliary transmissions and multi-speed rear axles. Explanation. Multi-speed rear axles, which tend to be less common in today's CMVS, and auxiliary transmissions provide additional gears that you can select while you drive. Question number 129. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. A. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. B. Oil. Transmission, air compressor, and radiator. C. Low beams, high beams, four-way flashes, and turn signals. The correct answer is here. C. Low beams, high beams, four-way flashes, and turn signals. Explanation. During step 4 and step 5 of the 7 step inspection method, you'll check the various lights at the front of your vehicle to make sure that they're all working properly. Question number 130. What is included in a windshield check? A. A check of the wiper blades. B. No need to check the windshield. C. Checking if it is clean. D. Damage check, cleaning, wiper wiper arm check. The correct answer is here. D. Damage check, cleaning, wiper wiper arm check. Explanation. When checking a windshield, you should check that the wiper blades work properly, clean if necessary, and check for any damage. Question number 131. While driving, ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield you should. A. Stop safely and fix the problem. B. Keep driving and spray the windshield with washer fluid. C. Keep driving and turn your defroster on drive slower until you can see again. The correct answer is here. A. Stop safely and fix the problem. Explanation. If your view through the windshield is obscured because your windshield wipers aren't clearing the windshield, pull over as soon as possible and fix the problem. Remember, if you can't see, you can't drive. Question number 132. If you smell exhaust fumes in the cab, what should you do? A. Open the windows. B. Check at the next stop. C.
stop immediately. D. Make a note on your post-trip report. The correct answer is here. C. Stop immediately. Explanation. Exhaust fumes leaking into the cab can be fatal, either by poisoning you or making you drowsy and thus inviting an accident. Stop at once and don't continue until the problem has been found and corrected. Question number 133. Which of these is a danger of crossing railroad tracks or dirt roads? A. Your tires could sink into the dirt and not cross the tracks. B. The ground underneath the tracks might not be stable. C. You could get hung up halfway across. The correct answer is here. C. You could get hung up halfway across. Explanation. Many drivers forget about the space under their vehicles. That space can be very small when a vehicle is heavily loaded. This is often a problem on dirt roads and in unpaved yards. Don't take a chance on getting hung up. Drainage channels across roads can cause the ends of some vehicles to drag. Cross such depressions carefully. Railroad tracks can also cause problems, particularly when pulling trailers with a low underneath clearance. Don't take a chance on getting hung up halfway across. Question number 134. What should you do if a car coming toward you at night keeps its high beams on? A. Look toward the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. B. Flash your high beams at the other driver. C. Slow down and look straight ahead in your lane. The correct answer is here. A. Look toward the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Explanation. If an oncoming vehicle has not dimmed its headlights, don't retaliate with your own high beams. Instead, slow down, keep right, look away from the vehicle, and steer by the right edge of the road until the vehicle has passed you. Question number 135. Which of the following should make you reject a vehicle until it is corrected? A. Tires from different manufacturers. B. Tires that have different tread patterns. C. Tires of different sizes. D. Tires that are retreads. The correct answer is here. C. Tires of different sizes. Explanation. Tires of different sizes can cause serious imbalances, steering problems, and braking difficulties. Question number 136. Which of these is true about the radiator shutters in the winter front? A. The winter front should be closed tightly. B. The engine may overheat if the winter front is left open. C. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. The correct answer is here. C. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Explanation. In extremely cold weather, very cold air flowing onto the radiator and through the engine compartment can prevent the engine from warming up and also keep your heater from working well. Radiator shutters or a winter front restrict this airflow to let the engine warm up. However, don't overdo it. Keep the winter front partially open or keep the radiator shutters free from ice. If the shutters freeze shut or the winter front is closed too tightly, the engine may overheat from lack of sufficient air. Question number 137. Which of these is a sign of tire failure? A. Steering that feels heavy. B. A loud bang vibration. C. All answers are correct.
The correct answer is here. C. All answers are correct. Explanation. When driving a loud bang, vibrations, or heavy steering can indicate that a tire has failed. Question number 138. Medical certificates must be renewed every A. 4 years. B. 9 months. C. 2 years. The correct answer is here. C. 2 years. Explanation. Anfengsai approved medical examiner's physical examination is valid for up to 24 months. However, the medical examiner may issue you a medical certificate that expires sooner if you have a medical condition that should be monitored more frequently, such as high blood pressure. Question number 139. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? A. Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel, B. With your right hand on the wheel, C. Firmly, with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. The correct answer is here, C. Firmly, with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Explanation. Hold the steering wheel firmly with both hands. Your hands should be on opposite sides of the steering wheel. If you hold the steering wheel with just one hand, it could pull out of your grasp if you hit a pothole or the curb. Question number 140. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? A. A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. B. There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. C. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. The correct answer is here. C. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Explanation. Caffeine and other stimulants can increase awareness for a few hours. But once a stimulant wears off, you can crash, feel even more drowsy and tired than you did before the stimulant. The only real cure for fatigue is sleep. Question number 141. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? A. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. B. Strong winds make it easy to stay in your lane. C. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. The correct answer is here. C. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Explanation. Whenever another vehicle is traveling right next to yours. There's always a chance that the vehicle might try to move into your lane and accidentally hit your vehicle. Also, the vehicle is blocking you from changing lanes. It's safer to find an open spot where there are no vehicles on either side of you. Of course, that may not be possible in heavy, congested traffic. Question number 142. Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? A. Driving faster to force more air into the radiator. B. Running the air conditioner. C. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. The correct answer is here. C. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Explanation. To ensure that your vehicle's engine won't overheat in hot weather, make sure that there is adequate coolant and engine oil, and check that the coolant hoses are in good condition and not leaking. Both coolant and oil carry off heat generated by the engine. Question number 143. Which of the following materials can be used in a class A 
B. See fire extinguisher to put out these types of fires. A. Carbon dioxide. B. Water. C. Dry chemical agent. The correct answer is here. C. Dry chemical agent. Explanation. When used properly, multipurpose dry chemical agents can safely extinguish class A, wood, paper, and other combustibles, fires, class B, flammable liquids and gases, fires, and class C, electrical, fires. Carbon dioxide doesn't work well on class A fires. Water should never be used on class C fires because it's electrically conductive. Question number 144. When checking your vehicle's load, you must make sure it conforms to A. The state regulations of your destination. B. The local regulations of the jurisdiction you are starting from. C. All federal regulations only. D. All local, state, and federal regulations that apply to your journey. The correct answer is here. D. All local, state, and federal regulations that apply to your journey. Explanation. You are responsible for adhering to the regulations of every jurisdiction through which you drive. It is insufficient to adhere just to the regulations of your departure point or destination. You might stop in a state or city with different regulations. Question number 146. What would you use to put out a gasoline fire? A. Water. B. Nothing. C. Dirt. The correct answer is here. C. Dirt. Explanation. Gasoline fires may be extinguished by smothering with wet rags, woolen cloth, sand, earth or ashes. Question number 147. Regarding fire safety, which of the following is the correct list of items you should check during your pre-trip? Inspection. A. Cargo. Fuel. Electrical, exhaust systems, B. Fuel and fire extinguisher, C. Tires, cargo, fuel, steering wheel, electrical, exhaust systems, fire extinguisher, D. Tires, cargo, fuel, electrical, exhaust systems, fire extinguisher, The correct answer is here. D. Tires, cargo, fuel, electrical, exhaust systems, fire extinguisher. Explanation. Tires, cargo, fuel, the electrical system, and exhaust systems are all causes of fires. To avoid a fire, you should inspect them before the trip and ensure your fire extinguisher is charged. Question number 148. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? A. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. B. You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. C. You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. The correct answer is here. A. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Explanation. Mirrors can show a great deal around your vehicle, but there are still blind spots that you can't see. Keep an eye on all the vehicles around you that you can see, in case one of them starts to move into one of your blind spots also use a helper when backing. Question number 149. Brake fade. A. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. B. 
can be corrected by letting up on the brakes for 1-2 seconds and then reapplying them. C. Only occurs with drum brakes. The correct answer is here. A. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. Explanation. Brakes use friction to convert the kinetic energy of your moving vehicle into heat. However, overuse of the brakes, which can happen if you don't use engine braking enough, can generate so much heat that brakes can fade, lose their effectiveness, or fail. Question number 150. To help you stay alert while driving, you should A. Take cold medicine if you have a cold. B. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. C. Schedule trips for hours during which you are normally asleep. The correct answer is here. B. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Explanation. The monotony and boredom of a long drive can lead to highway hypnosis and drowsiness. To prevent this, stop for a break about once every 2 hours or 100 miles. Some cold and allergy medications can cause drowsiness, sedation, or disturbed coordination, which makes them dangerous for CMV operators. If you are unsure about the effects of a particular medication, check the warning label or ask your pharmacist or doctor. Question number 151. At highway speeds, what distance should a driver look ahead? A. Drivers should look ahead as far as their vision permits. B. Drivers should look ahead about a 2 blocks, 10 car lengths. C. Drivers should pay attention only to the traffic that is immediately surrounding them on each side. D. Drivers should look ahead 12 seconds to 15 seconds or a quarter of a mile. The correct answer is here. D. Drivers should look ahead 12 seconds to 15 seconds or a quarter of a mile. Explanation. Drivers should look 12 seconds to 15 seconds into the distance so that they have time to make a lane, change or slow down if the need arises. Note, if your state the EMV manual suggests differently, please go by their standards. But this is the standard for most states, such as this one, from Virginia. Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles, 2007 Virginia Commercial Drivers Manual, page 119. 123, 124, 38, 